guys, it's Treehouse ASMR here. Welcome up into the Treehouse. And today we will be doing some football content, a NFL mock draft. And I will be talking about the football games that will be happening tonight. The Washington football team kicks off the season against the New England Patriots preseason game and the Philadelphia Eagles play the Pittsburgh Steelers tonight, but before we start, let's just get into a mock draft lobby. I want to do a PPR draft. It doesn't really matter how many teams. I'd rather do a bigger one. Let's do a 14 team. Let's pick uh, the eighth spot. All right, now we're in a lobby. So um, this is pretty exciting tonight. There are two NFL preseason games. And I'm going to be starting to come out with more football content as the NFL season approaches. Um, if anybody watching this has a favorite team or players they want me to talk about, teams they want me to talk about, I, I can talk about your team. So leave a comment below. I'll make a video on your favorite team, what I think about your team, um, your favorite fantasy f players or my favorite fantasy players from your team. Um, I know that one of my viewers, Mike Sol, he is a Chicago Bears fan. I will make a Chicago Bears video and what I think of the Bears and their fantasy outlook and just their outlook in general. I do like Justin Fields. Justin Fields is making a lot of noise in preseason training camp so far. He looks like a stud. I don't think Andy Dalton will... Uh, will last long if if Andy Dalton even starts the season it doesn't even look like that is gonna happen it looks like Justin Fields might just take the job right away but if I have any viewers watching this um just comment below what your favorite team is what players you like I will make a video regarding your favorite team I uh I'm willing to do that and I want to make more football content and that'll do it that'll uh That'll help me start making more football content, but I will be making a lot more fantasy football content for sure. So in this video, I'm just going to be talking about um, the games that will be happening at 7.30 tonight. This is prior. I'm recording this before the, uh, the first, well, there was the Hall of Fame game. The Dallas Cowboys played the Pittsburgh Steelers last week. That game was pretty good. I caught a few quarters of it. I was opening up Pokemon cards, so I kind of stopped watching for a little bit. But I got to see Najee Harris, the running back from Alabama that got drafted to Pittsburgh. He, uh, he seemed okay. And there was a few other good plays. I know the Dallas Cowboys have a few players that, uh, some of the Cowboys fans are really high on. And, uh, it was an okay game. I mean, the Hall of Fame game is really nothing, so... Now we're getting into the real preseason games where we have to keep an eye out for players. I'll get into the Washington football team versus the New England Patriots real quick, and we will also be drafting while talking about these games. <clears throat> oh, look, this guy says, who else loves draft day? Let's just, uh, I won't talk to these guys. I'll just talk to you guys because I'm recording. So for tonight, the Washington football team, they play the New England Patriots. I'm really interested in seeing what uh, Samuel Cosme does, the rookie player, the offensive tackle. He'll probably get a few reps. And Jameis Davis, the linebacker from Kentucky, first-round pick for the uh, Washington football team. Um, I really am looking forward to see what he can do, see how aggressive he is. I think that the... Uh, Ron Rivera, he will just be very vanilla, and uh, they won't really be showing much. They'll just be getting their players ready, just kind of working them in and out. Um, they have a wide receiver, Diami Brown. He, he, he should be interesting to watch. And I want to see Taylor Heineke, uh, because I listened to a Washington football team podcast earlier today, and are are they delusional? Are people in Washington delusional? Are some of you delusional? If any Washington football team fan is watching this, are you delusional? I'm seeing that people are saying that Taylor Heineke has the chance to be your starter. That's not going to happen. Ryan Fitzpatrick is your starter. 
it's Ryan Fitzpatrick's job. I'm seeing all this stuff about Taylor Heineke possibly winning the starting job if he plays well. What are we talking about, guys? Ryan Fitzpatrick is your starter. It's Ryan Fitzpatrick's job. Um, obvious, the obvious, um, obviously, uh, Terry McLaurin, he's probably not going to play too much. Antonio Gibson should not be playing too much. J.D. McKissick is probably going to get a bunch of reps. Antonio Gibson, I think, is still dealing with a toe injury from last year, which is crazy. And for the New England Patriots side of the ball, I want to see, uh, Nikhil Harry. Um, I know that Nikhil Harry just requested a trade, and I want to see if he's going to play because, uh, I could see Nikhil Harry playing well on other teams. I don't think the New England Patriots are going to be that good for the coming years. Honestly, Tom Brady really did carry the Patriots, and Tom Brady attracted a lot of good players to New England. Obviously, Bill Belichick is the GOAT. He's the best coach of all time, but coaching can only go so far. We saw it last year. Cam Newton, he's not even that good. I'm sorry, guys. Cam Newton is not it. Um... I am excited to see Mac Jones. Mac Jones is definitely going to play. I'm very interested to see, like, Cam Newton, he's probably going to get, like, one, two, three series with the starters. They'll take Cam Newton out. I wonder if they're going to take out the starters when Mac Jones comes in, or if they're going to give Mac Jones, like, uh, a series or two with the starters, because... Your team is now on the clock. We're about to make our first pick. Let's see. Aaron Jones, Saquon. Kelsey, Devonte. You know what? I'm just gonna take Saquon. I know that he's hurt. I think he's on the uh, tr uh, he's trending upwards to being recovered, and Saquon could have a Adrian Peterson like year if he bounces back. But yeah, the Giants' offensive line is really terrible, so that might not have been the best pick for us. But anyways, um, it will be interesting to see if. When Mac Jones plays in his first NFL game tonight, if he gets any reps with any other offensive starters like a wide receivers or running backs, because if they leave in some of the other starters, that means that they might be planning to play Mac Jones in the regular season with starters. So I'm very intrigued to see if that's the case. Um, but most likely the starters will just come out when Cam Newton comes out. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I want to talk about the Eagles game and the Pittsburgh Steelers game as well, but let's, uh, let's dive into this real quick. We started off with Saquon. Not bad. Kind of makes me nervous that we did that, though. It's just a mock draft, but, uh, Saquon, he tore his ACL last year, and obviously with how modern... Your team is now on the clock. Here we go, here we go. George Kittle is sitting there, Darren Waller is sitting there, Calvin Ridley is sitting there. <clears throat> DeAndre Swift, damn, I want David Montgomery really bad. You know what? I'm taking Calvin Ridley. <clears throat> Without Julio Jones there, Calvin Ridley will have most of the offense run through him. They do have running back Mike Davis in Atlanta. He's not going to do that well. And uh, Kyle Pitts, he's going to get a lot of targets, but Calvin Ridley seems to be the good choice there. Allen Robinson, Terry McLaurin. Ah, I don't really know if I like this. I want to talk about the Eagles, though. The Eagles and the Pittsburgh Steelers game. We'll get into that. We'll get into that in a little bit. Let's just talk about this mock draft because I have a lot to talk about with all these players. It's pretty interesting. J.K. Dobbins just went off the board. I like DeAndre Swift this year. Terry McLaurin goes off the board. Scary Terry. He might be one of my favorite wide receivers in the league. He's so good. I had him last year, and I was watching a lot of Washington football team games last year. He is so talented. It really is unbelievable, the talent that player has. C.D. Lamb, his ADP is so high because everybody's watching all his uh, his circus catches in training camp. He can have a really good year, but I would never take him where his ADP is. Your team is now on the clock. Josh 
Josh Jacobs. He is way too low. Josh Jacobs should be above Mike Davis. Josh Jacobs is way better than all of these running backs. <clears throat> Daryl Henderson's ADP down here is crazy. He should he should uh he should his ADP will jump jump up because of the injury to Cam Akers. I can't believe that the uh, fantasy NFL app still has him down there. Um. Wow, this this draft is flying. Deontay Johnson, Amari Cooper, Mike Davis, Josh Allen. <clears throat> See, I don't take quarterbacks early usually. See, look at these. You could get Jalen Hurts back here. Ryan Tannehill all the way back here, ranked 140. I would snipe Ryan Tannehill right there. He's going to have such a good year with the uh, weapons he has. Uh, Chris Godwin, Calvin Ridley, Saquon. We got to get another running back. James Robinson is all the way down here. I really do enjoy doing mock drafts. TJ Hawkinson down, being down here too is crazy. Your team is now on the clock. Let's, uh, let's grab Josh Jacobs. Saquon, Josh Jacobs, Calvin Ridley, Chris, Chris Godwin. Not a bad team, not a bad team. It's not the best though. I What, what pick did we start out with? We had uh, eighth, right? We were at eighth. <clears throat> what are these guys saying? Who else loves draft day? Will can't come fast enough. Got to wait until September 3rd. Looks like he's drafting on September 3rd. That's probably when uh, I have, I'm in two fantasy leagues, so I'll be drafting in the late August for one of my other ones. And my other league, we haven't set a date yet because we have to all agree on a date where we can all get together on Zoom call or sit down. Maybe uh, some of us will hang out. Let me know, guys. What do you guys do for your drafts? I really want Justin Herbert this year. In one of my leagues, I might just reach on Justin Herbert because he's going to go off. But I really just hate taking a quarterback early. Um, you can your get, team uh, is now on the clock. You can get value in quarterback at so many other places. Zach Moss, Jamal Williams, Chase Edmonds, Daryl Henderson, Juju, Cortland Sutton. We might need to get... Let's take TJ Hawkinson here. We got our tight end locked up. TJ Hawkinson, Chris Godwin, Calvin Ridley, Josh Jacobs, Saquon Barkley. Not terrible. So tonight, I am an Eagles fan. I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. We just went down to Philadelphia to, uh, to go watch the first public practice down at the Lincoln Financial Field. It was really cool, actually. I liked doing that. That was my first time going down there. It was pretty dope. Um, Jalen Hurts, he didn't look that good. He, he made some good throws, some decent passes. But uh, I was really hoping that he would, like, shock me and, like, I would be, like, just wowed, but nothing really wowed me with Jalen Hurts watching him at practice. But at, at the end of the day, we are just talking about practice. It's just a practice. So uh, what we saw in Jalen Hurts' four-game sample size from last year was really impressive. He beat the New Orleans Saints. He put up like 450 total yards against the uh, Arizona Cardinals last year, and they almost actually won that game. DeAndre Hopkins just ended up killing the Eagles. He was eating Darius Slay alive on the outside. But uh, Jalen Hurts, I'm pretty excited to see Jalen Hurts play tonight, see what he can do. He'll probably get a full quarter. He'll probably play the whole first quarter, I would assume. So I'm really excited to see what Jalen Hurts can do. I want to see what Quez Watkins can do. He's a wide receiver, number 16, I think, on the Eagles. He was a rookie last year. We're about to make our pick, though. we gotta, we got to figure out what we're going to take right here. How is our Your team? team is now on the clock. Um, we should probably go another running back because there's... Yeah, let's get James Robinson here. James Robinson is a beast. Unreal how good James Robinson is and how they have Travis Etienne from Clemson, the rookie running back from Clemson, ranked so high. That's ridiculous. James Robinson had such a good year last year. I'd rather have James Robinson than Travis Etienne all day, every day. Some of these fantasy football rankings are just so ridiculous to me when you go back and look at it. Like, how is that even a thing with Travis Etienne being ranked?
ranked so high. That is so crazy. It is pretty cool how uh, how the Jaguars drafted um, Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne, both Clemson players. I thought that was pretty cool. That doesn't usually happen often in the NFL. Let's see. I might even go another running back here. Just stack our running backs because of how how thin the running backs are this year. Like, once you hit this dead zone right here, this is like the dead zone of running backs. Tony Pollard, I'd really like. At this point, you're just looking at, like, handcuff players, like Madison from Minnesota. If Dalvin Cook gets hurt, he would be a good player to have on the back end of your roster. Tony Pollard, if Zeke gets hurt. Your team is now on the clock. Oh, my God. Michael Thomas is all the way back here. I know that Michael Thomas... Oh, Antonio Brown is sitting there. Yeah, uh, oh my gosh. Michael Thomas is going to miss the first six weeks of this season. But he still is Michael Thomas. What quarterbacks are here? I'm just taking Ryan Tannehill, whatever. I'll lock up Ryan Tannehill in the middle rounds. So we're looking at Ryan Tannehill, Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, Calvin Ridley, Chris Godwin, DJ Hawkinson, James Robinson. These are the starters we have so far. We're going to be working on our bench now. What else did I want to talk about with the Eagles? The Eagles tonight play at 7.30 versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have, oh yeah, um, Zach Ertz. I wonder how much Zach Ertz is going to play because if Zach Ertz gets hurt, then the Eagles are just stuck with paying him his money or they'll have to choose to cut Zach Ertz. Um, it's really shocking that they haven't tr uh, traded Zach Ertz yet. I think that it, Zach Ertz will be traded once somebody gets hurt or once one of those other teams like the Buffalo Bills or the Jaguars, they kind of realize that their tight ends are not what they thought they were. Um, I would honestly at this point to free up the uh, money, I would trade Zach Ertz for like a sixth round pick, fifth round pick, give him to Buffalo. I think he would be really good on the Buffalo Bills with Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, Cole Beasley, Zach Ertz. I really do think that he's going to get traded to the Bills. I also think he could get traded to the Jaguars because the Jaguars, they don't even have a tight end. They got Tim Tebow running around out there for him, for Trevor Lawrence. Like, that's crazy. You got Trevor Lawrence, one of the best prospects of the last 20 Your team is now on the clock. All right, let's see. We got to go running back here, right? David Johnson, James Conner, A.J. Dillon, Tony Pollard. Who's the wide receivers here? You know, I'm going to Antonio Brown, man. I love Antonio Brown, even though he's crazy. Oh, wow. Maybe I should have, uh, I probably should have picked another wide receiver instead of James Robinson earlier. I might have to go another wide receiver here. Amon Ross State Brown, yo, I heard a lot about this kid. Did you, any of you see the video of him hurtling that guy at, in Lions training camp? He is going to be a beast, I swear to God. Amon Ross State Brown is going to be sick. Debo Samuel, too. Michael Gallup. Henry Ruggs. Oh, my gosh. It, it, there is a lot of good wide receivers back here. Cole Beasley. Yeah, maybe we can wait on that for a later round. Let's look at the running backs. Let's get Tony Pollard next. We should get Tony Pollard. Kenneth Gainwell is shockingly ranked really high. I was at the practice. He looked pretty good. He's pretty shifty. He's a running back from Memphis. He actually played college with Antonio Gibson, the running back on Washington, who uh, played really well last year. Gus Edwards right here, too, would be a good pick. Your team is now on the clock. Oh, man, this is tough because I don't want David Johnson. I don't want Trey Sermon. Maybe I do want Trey Sermon. I don't know. Ohio State running back. I'm taking Tony Pollard. <clears throat> Tony Pollard is like electric. I think that uh, the Dallas Cowboys organization might finally realize that what they have in Tony Pollard, if Zeke actually ends up not playing well, you have to play Tony Pollard. He's going to be so good. Oh, another player in uh, tonight's game, uh, in the preseason game on the Eagles, is uh, Milton Williams, the defensive tackle. I think he was from uh, Louisiana Tech. I don't even know where he was from. He, he's from some smaller college. His name is Milton Williams. He uh, He's a defensive tackle. He's number 93. He's going to be playing a lot of snaps. I really want to watch him. Um, he might be able to get some good tackles, some good run-stopping plays, because uh, I'm pretty much expecting the, uh, the offensive play 
to be very vanilla. It's going to be a lot of running, so uh, we'll see if he can plug the hole. Let's see if he can make some tackles. Your team is now on the clock. All right, let's see what we got here. Daryl Mooney, he could be good. Jerry Judy is sitting here for the taking. Jalen Waddle is surprising. Marquise Brown. I want uh, let's go Jalen Waddle. Get a little rookie action. We got the old we got the old head with uh, Antonio Brown. We have it Antonio Brown, right? Yeah, he's on the bench down here. Tony Pollard, Jalen Waddle, Antonio Brown. <clears throat> Jarvis is sitting there. What are the running backs? Maybe if I give it a good scroll. DJ Dallas. I like DJ Dallas, but it's too early to go that far down. Damian Harris I like a lot too. He could be he literally could be the starter on the New England Patriots, and he's so far ranked low. Like you guys have to think about that. Damian Harris, he used to be the running back at Alabama. He was hurt last year. Um, he's ranked 148th, and he could be the starting running back on a team. Like, that's so crazy how he's ranked so low. Sony Michelle, he's not even that good. James White is pretty good, though. I do like James White. Um, the main thing I want to watch in the Eagles game tonight at 7.30, starts in a few hours, is uh, Tyree. Your team is now on the clock. Your team is now on the clock. Oh, man. Who do we take? Daryl Mooney. How's our tight end? How's DJ Hawkinson, James Robinson, Antonio Brown, Charlie Bowler, Gus Edwards? This is not one of my best drafts that I've had. I don't even really like this team that much, but it's okay, guys. We're just making some videos here talking. Evan Ingram, Cole Komet, David Johnson, James Conner. Let's take James Conner. For the Pittsburgh Steelers side of the ball in tonight's game, I'm going to keep an eye on Najee Harris. I want to see how well he does, what his running looks like in the NFL. And Dwayne Haskins. I want to watch Dwayne Haskins because if Ben Roethlisberger gets hurt, which it's a guarantee, Ben Roethlisberger will get hurt at some time this year during the regular season. He's going to be in two different walking boots. He's going to have a wrist wrapped. He's going to have ice packs on every limb. Um, it's just a guarantee that Ben Roethlisberger is going to get hurt. So Dwayne Haskins is uh, easily going to be playing some games this year. And it's really interesting, uh, the career path that Dwayne Haskins has had after being drafted by Washington. And then he was, uh, he was like caught in the strip club during coronavirus, all that, with his girlfriend. And then he like... Uh, he got beat by his girlfriend or something. I don't know. It's just crazy. All that stuff is happening, and he's still in the league. Um, he could even be good, honestly, if he gets his stuff together, if he gets his mind right. He Your team is now on the clock. Oh, man. Let's take another tight end. I never take two tight ends, though. Zach Ertz is down here. Yeah, let's not do that, actually. Marquise Brown, Daryl Mooney, Jerry Judy, Devontae Parker, Henry Ruggs is back here. Tyler Boyd. Wow. Um, let's take Daryl Mooney. He's really talented. And if Justin Fields...
Fields ends up playing, then uh, it'll look like that was the right choice because Justin Fields looks like he's going to be really good, honestly. James Conner, Daryl Mooney, Gus Edwards, Jalen Waddle, Tony Pollard, Antonio Brown. Wow, I really do not like my team on the bench at all. It's kind of tough to do a mock draft while talking about like three different things at once. <laughs> But uh, I'll get better at it, and I'm going to keep posting these mock drafts because uh, NFL season is coming around, and I know that some of you guys really enjoy um, the content I'm putting out here. And also, I do know a lot about football, so if I could help you guys learn some things and just put some information out there for some of you guys, and I can also listen to some of your guys' information, just comment below the video uh, what I did wrong or... Um, your team is now on the clock. Just some information on uh, what's your favorite team, what players you like, some hot takes you have. I do like Tariq Cohen, but he tore his ACL last year, and uh, he might do it again. Let's see, Ronald Jones, Naeem Hines. I'm going to take another wide receiver. Jarvis is sitting here. Gabriel Davis looked good last year. Let's take Jarvis. Yeah, I don't like this team at all, but... It's okay. We got we got good starters. Ryan Tannehill, Saquon, Josh Jacobs, Calvin Ridley, Chris Godwin, TJ Hawkinson, James Robinson. That's pretty good. My bench is terrible, honestly. I do not like this bench at all. I, I like Antonio Brown. Um, that's really it, I guess. I really don't like anything else about this team. I really messed up on my bench. <clears throat> it's got, it, it is, It's not easy to talk about different teams preseason uh, and to do a mock draft <clears throat> sorry if you guys hear something in the background I do not live alone there are other people in uh, the vicinity so <clears throat> there might be some background noise let's see how can we round up this team Mike Williams, Nelson Aguilar. Your team is now on the clock. See, like Jamison Crowder, Nicole Hardman, Cole Beasley. This is crazy how these rankings work. I would have, like, I can't believe that some of these players are ranked like this low. Giovanni Bernard on Tampa Bay. That's crazy. Devin Goldman. Damn. I want Damian Harris. I just want him because I think he'll be good. I'm going to try and get Damian Harris on uh, some of my rosters this year. Wide receivers, Debo Samuel being down here is crazy. I, I would take Debo right here in a heartbeat. Jalen Rager is intriguing, but uh, I think I just think that because I'm an Eagles fan. I don't think anybody else likes Jalen Rager. <laughs> I think most people consens in the uh, consensus think that Jalen Rager is a bust, which I kind of, like, you can't consider him a bust yet because it's only been one year and he was hurt last year. But uh, I could see that being the case. There he goes. Oops, sorry about that, guys. That was a little podcast I have. A little podcast notification just popped up on the screen. So this, this was a 14-man uh, draft. So these are going to be pretty deep. Your team is now on the clock. Sony Michelle, Rashad Penny, Samaj P. Ron, Philip Lindsay, Latavius Murray, JD McKissick, James White, Chuba, Chuba Hubbard, DJ Dallas, Mark Ingram. Latavius would be a good handcuff to uh, Alvin Kamara, JD McKissick. I'm going to go JD McKissick because he actually did have a pretty good season last year for uh, the stretch of games towards the end. Look at these stats. Oh, that's Ryan Tannehill's stats. Huh, that's interesting. That's a weird glitch. I click on I click on Ryan Tannehill and it goes to I'm clicking JD McKissick and it's just going to Ryan Tannehill. Everybody's Ryan Tannehill. What the heck? There we go. Daryl Mooney, James Conner, Gus Edwards, Jalen Waddell, Tony Pollard, Antonio Brown, James Robinson, TJ Hawkinson. Alright, I guess that's a weird glitch. I am not able to click on the stats. Regarding J.D. McKissick, what about Damian Harris? Every Everybody down here is glitched. James Robinson, Tony Pollard, Jalen Waddle, go 
Miles Edwards, James Conner. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I guess that's just uh, how the app is. It's just glitching right now. Sorry about that, guys. I would show you guys J.D. McKissick's stats. I'll show you after these uh, next pick. I'm only two picks away, so let's see who we're going to choose. Let's go snipe a wide receiver. Real Your high. team is now on the clock. Alan Lazard right here. Alan Lazard could be really good this year with uh, Aaron Rodgers. Jamison Crowder I like a lot. Corey Davis, that's funny. We got both Jets wide receivers back-to-back. -back. That's like a coin flip, just picking one right there. I do like loading up on running backs. So let's see. Todd Curley, the free agent right there. Let's take another handcuff. If Alvin Kamara gets hurt, then uh, we have Latavius to start. And we I think we have Madison on our team too. Or do we not? Oh yeah, no, we have Tony Pollard. So if, if Zeke Elliott got hurt, we would have Tony Pollard. That would be good. Josh Jacobs, Calvin Ridley, Chris Godwin, TJ Hawkinson, James Robinson, Antonio Brown, Tony Pollard, Jalen Waddle, Gus Edwards, James Conner, Daryl Mooney, Jarvis Landry, D Damian Harris, J.D. McKissick, Latavius Murray. Um, I usually don't do mock drafts like this that have this many bench spots, and I also have defensive player, defensive back, linebacker, defensive lineman, defense, and a kicker. Honestly, I never do mock drafts like this, but I figured, why not? We would just do it. <clears throat> Should be cool. Let's see. Defensive line. Uh, D-line. Your team is now on the clock. Cam Jordan, linebacker. This is kind of cool. What do you guys think about this? I would never do this, but uh, I'll save those for last, I guess. I Honestly, when I clicked on it, I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't even think that I joined a uh, Gerald Everett, Hayden Hurst, Logan Thomas, Jimmy Graham. Let's take Gerald Everett, I guess. Wow, I honestly was not paying attention at all when I clicked on this draft. I thought it was just a 14 uh, team, 14 person draft, but apparently it has linebacker spots, defensive lineman spots, def uh, obviously a defense spot, but defensive back and a I was not paying attention to that. Minka Fitzpatrick. John Bostick. Right? Yeah, he's pretty good. Eric Kendricks. Shaq, Shaq Thompson. <laughs> this is crazy, honestly. I guess, I guess whatever. I wasn't really paying attention. <clears throat> I was so busy thinking about all the other stuff. Like the, uh preseason games tonight that I wasn't really uh, looking at that. Russell Gage could be a good pick here. I like Russell Gage a lot. KJ Hamler. So I, I'm in a 12-man league. It's like a family and friends league, 12-man with decently sized... Runners. Your team is now on the clock. So it is pretty nice to have information on players like this. Wow, AJ Green is down here. I forgot about AJ Green. Honestly, should I just go with A.J. Green? What are the running backs here? D.J. Dallas. I guess running backs are more important. I do have a lot of running backs right now, though. I want A.J. Green. I'm taking A.J. Green. Trey Burton, Darren Fells, Moelle Cox, Geno Atkins, Richard Rodgers, Jimmy Graham. I thought Jimmy Graham would retire last year. He had a pretty cool catch at the end of the season. It was like the last play of the season. He had like a one-handed touchdown catch. It was pretty good. That was cool. What is this? This is their first round draft pick, right? Yeah, Amari Rogers. Thanks for attending the NFL draft. Best of luck this season. Oh, wow. That's the end of the draft. Wow. I really butchered that. I mean, I wasn't even ready, so I've never really done a draft that holds defensive players like this. And um, a little strategy for you guys, a little tip. Um, when in my real drafts, like for real, I don't draft a kicker or a defense. I take players. I fill every spot with players on my bench. And as the season gets closer, I will eventually cut two players. I'll drop, let's say, all right, let's say whatever, Gerald Everett. I will drop Gerald Everett. I'll cut him off my team and then pick up a defense. And let's say I'll cut A. 
AJ Green. I'll just drop AJ Green and Gerald Everett towards the towards uh, the getting closer to the regular season. I'll pick up a kicker and I'll pick up a defense, and that gives me more players on my team that possibly I can have. And if somebody gets hurt, I say, uh, let's say uh, DeAndre Hopkins gets hurt, then I have AJ Green. Or like if DeAndre Hopkins somehow got hurt before the regular season started, I would already have AJ Green on my roster. And I wouldn't have to worry about putting in a waiver claim for him and losing out on him. I would have a wide receiver that was now going to get more looks and more catches and more receptions. But obviously, if that's not the case, then I just cut A.J. Green and Gerald Everett um, from my team. And I go pick up a, a kicker and a defense to uh, start, start my season. So that's a little tip I do. I don't know if anybody is that competitive about fantasy, but I try to get any competitive uh, advantage. So I just do that. That's what I do. And I never do uh, defensive player drafts. I don't know why I clicked this one. My mind was kind of just all over the place when I was trying to think of, uh, when I was trying to uh, talk about the preseason games being played tonight. So this is my team. We got Ryan Tannehill, Saquon Barkley with our first overall pick, Josh Jacobs, Calvin Ridley, Chris Godwin, TJ Hawkinson, and James Robinson. Our starters are really good. I really do like the uh, the starters we have for our team. Um, I'm not a, too big of a fan of our bench. This was a 14-man league, I think, though, so uh, just keep that in mind. This is a 14-person uh, league. This is the bench. Antonio Brown, Tony Pollard, Jalen Waddell, Gus Edwards, James Conner, Daryl Mooney, Jarvis Landry, Damian Harris, J.D. McKissick, Latavius Murray, Gerald Everett, A.J. Green. Honestly, it's really not even that bad. Tony Pollard being uh, the handcuff for Zeke. Antonio Brown, he can honestly be startable if he ever uh, gets back to even like 75% of what he used to be. He looked pretty good last year. Um, Jalen Waddell. That's a big question mark. Jalen Waddle, he is so fast, and he's got crazy good hands. He could have a good year with the uh, the Tua Tunga Vailoa connection. I don't know. I like Jalen Waddle. Gus Edwards. Um, the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens got to run the ball more, and they work, They did work on their offensive line. So uh, Gus Edwards, Gus Bus, he could be good. Um, I took James Conner because Kenyon Drake just left. Um James Conner could be okay. I don't really plan on starting James Conner. We have Saquon and Josh Jacobs and James Robinson. So that's a decent player to have on the bench. Um, I do like Darnell. I called him Daryl before. Darnell Mooney. Yo, some of you guys got to go and watch Dar Darnell Mooney's highlights from last year. <laughs> <coughs> Every catch he made seemed like a circus catch. He's crazy. I really am a big fan of Darnell Mooney. He's good. Obviously, Jarvis Landry. I could plug in Jarvis Landry any week. He's stud. Damian Harris, he possibly is going to be the starter on the Patriots. They, the uh, NFL Fantasy app probably is going to fix his uh, his ADP. It's crazy how late you can get Damian Harris in these drafts. J.D. McKissick splits carries with Antonio Gibson, so that'll be interesting to see how that works, especially if Antonio Gibson re-aggravates his... Um, foot injury. He has a turf toe, and he's like still battling it from last year, which he uh, he probably uh, was trying to work out too much and uh, didn't let himself heal properly. So that could easily come back and bother him in the regular season. And then boom, we have JD McKissick, a possible starter. It won't let me click his name though. I want to show you guys JD McKissick's stats from uh, last year. He had a really good like stretch of game. Let's see. McKissick. What? All. I go to all. Is there an available uh, thing? J dot D. Let's see. JD. What is going on here? MCK. Are these like all undrafted players? Yeah, I don't. This app kind of glitches out sometimes, so. I guess I just can't click on J.D. McKissick for some reason. That's annoying, but it's okay. I know that J.D. McKissick had a really good stretch of games last year. Latavius Murray, we have Latavius because Alvin Kamara, if he gets injured, he 
he's a uh, handcuff. And boom, we got a plug-in star player right on our bench. Gerald Everett and AJ Green were my last two picks. I would actually end up cutting one of these players. I would probably end up cutting Latavius Murray and Gerald Everett to pick up a kicker and a defense once the regular season comes around. But anyways, this was just a mock draft, and that was fun. That was really fun, actually. So if anybody is still here watching the video, please comment below. Let me know what your favorite team is. Let me know some hot takes that you have. Let me know some players that you like this year. Let me know who you're going to be drafting. Let me know um, what pick you have in your draft this year. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and um, keep posted, guys. I'm going to be posting more videos about football. I love doing this, guys. This is really fun. So, as always, have a good day. Take it easy. Take care, guys. It was great hanging out with you up in the treehouse today. Bye-bye.